For most of my life, I've avoided discomfort. If something didn't mean that I was going to be playing video games in my room just by myself, I wouldn't be doing it. I hated going to karate. I basically just hated everything if it didn't mean playing on my computer in my room by myself. But you know, I don't really see anything wrong with this. You know, I get to enjoy my life by myself. I get to do what I want to do in my room. And I don't really have to face any challenges. Until there was one day where my mom took me to the doctors because I was extremely skinny. I was so skinny, I was like 49 kg at 15, like late 15s as well, that my parents were scared that I had a medical condition. My shoulder blades were literally pointing out of my body like there were wings because I didn't have any flesh on my back. Imagine you in school right now and you literally weigh 10 times less than the girls in your class. But you know, going to the doctors, I don't really complain about it. I don't really think anything of it. And as I walked into this doctor's office, you know, I, I've got two chairs, my mum was sitting next to me, and this doctor is just like sitting across from me. And as my mum is just explaining the situation, oh, that he's just really skinny, we were worried about him. The doctor just looks at me for a moment and he says, you don't have a medical condition. The only reason you look like this is because you allowed yourself to look like this. And you know, I'm just looking down. I'm not really present in a moment. So I'm just like, oh, can we go home now? And to be honest, looking back now, that was the complete truth. The truth was I had been avoiding discomfort my entire life. I had never accepted the challenge. I've never actually pushed myself to do something in my life. And this was a time during my life when I actually started to listen to other people's advice. Instead of just thinking that I should be comfortable all the time, I need to actually live my life and actually get out of my comfort zone. And coming out of that doctor's appointment, my life took a complete 180. I started exercising, I started reading, I started just going on self-improvement because before all this, I already knew about self-improvement. I already knew about, you know, delayed gratification. But I just said to myself, is this really worth it? Is it really worth it going on this journey of sacrificing my comfort now for comfort later? And as soon as I got home from that doctor's appointment, I straight away went on the treadmill. So you can just see in the corner of my room, there's a treadmill there. And, you know, ignore all the weird stuff next to it but that, that's a treadmill right you use your eyes that is a treadmill and straight away i just went on it for like 30 minutes because this was honestly the wake up call i needed to hear because i realized if i didn't take action now my health would decline and i probably would not even be here today or i'd be extremely depressed right now i would be even skinnier than i was before that and i actually class myself as a bit lucky because if i didn't go to this doctor's appointment if i just stayed at home and played video games i wouldn't be making this video this channel wouldn't exist I would still be rotting in my gaming chair, sitting at like 47 kg at 16. And I'm here to tell you that the comfort zone that you are chasing every single day is not worth it at all. When I was constantly chasing this comfort zone, you know, playing video games every single day, I thought someone would just eventually help me. I thought I would just get, you know, a good friend that would just help me go to the gym. But the reality is no one is going to help you. You're on your own and that's the sad reality of life. But if you don't accept that, you're never going to grow. You're never going to change. And you're going to be the exact same person as you are yesterday, the day before, the day before, for the rest of your life. And that's just a boring life, bro. So hopefully now you know that this comfort that you're chasing is not worth it at all. It's terrible. Because I've just showed you the life that I was living, how miserable I was when I was in the stage of just chasing comfort. And now I'm gonna go over exactly how you can get out of the comfort zone. I'm gonna give you an analogy. Let's imagine you are in this bubble right now. And for most of your life, you've been in this bubble, it's not grown, it's not got bigger. But every single time you do something that is slightly hard, that is slightly outside of that bubble, it grows until that bubble becomes insanely big that you can do anything you want. You can do the impossible. And the reason why most people don't change, the reason why most people stay stagnant is because they instantly try to go from a small bubble to a humongous bubble. And if you're watching this video, you've probably tried to change already. You've probably tried self-improvement. You've probably tried to go to the gym, but you haven't been consistent yet. And the reason is because the bubble you currently possess that you're inside of is really small. And the way we actually increase our bubble, get out of our comfort zone and stay out of our comfort zone is by gradually increasing the intensity of what we're doing things. So let's just say, for example, you're inconsistent with going to the gym. Well, first off, don't go to the gym. Just do some push-ups. Do you know all those 60 minute ab workouts you see on YouTube? Just follow one of them. And I guarantee you'll be much more consistent because you don't have to commute to the gym. You don't have to ride the bus to the gym. You don't have to do any of that. You can just do it in your home on the floor. So that's the mindset I want you to carry throughout your entire life that you are in this tiny bubble and you, you, your goal is to always increase it to get to a humongous bubble. And if you're struggling to actually progress in life, if you're not where you want to be, I'm gonna just literally give you a book suggestion that I really want you to read. And this and it's called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Because if I didn't read this book, I wouldn't be making this video. I wouldn't have gone to the gym ever. I'll still be playing Overwatch with these loser friends, you know, that don't even care about me, just wanna play video games. And that's the actionable step I want you to do for the entire month. 
literally pick up this book, it's called Quantum Hermit, it's selling like 10 pounds. You've probably spent thousands of pounds on video games, so surely you can buy a 10 pound book and just read the entire book cover to cover and I guarantee your mindset will completely change and, and this mindset will propel you to achieve what you want, to actually stay consistent with the things that you want. Because if I didn't read this book, I would not be making this video right now. And you know, it's kind of sad to see the world falling apart and you know, depression right now is seen as a normal thing. Everyone is depressed. And you know why? You know why you are depressed right now? It's because you are not doing anything hard. If you did something difficult that you know, you had to sacrifice for, you would not feel depressed. You would be extremely happy right now. You would be excited. You would be fulfilled. But it's the reason why you aren't feeling any of these things, you aren't feeling happiness, is because you're staying the exact same person. And there's a quote that I kind of just thought about and it's, the people that chase come are the people that chase failure because the reality is if you chase comfort you're going to fail because humans were made for change we were not made to stay the exact same person we're meant to evolve we're meant to change over time and so does your brain your brain has to change your life has to change gradually and the reason why you feel so bad the reason why you just feel so miserable is because you're not chasing any goals you're you're basically living like an npc life humans were made to have strive for goals to strive for things to actually achieve and if you're not striving towards things you're lost you're going to be feel miserable you're going to feel extremely depressed and if you're really struggling right now and you, and you would like some personal help with changing your life actually like feeling happiness feeling fulfillment in your life and actually living a life that you want to live you can book a call with me below and i will do the be very best i can to help you get out of your situation because i was in your exact situation two years ago and i managed to get out i managed to get out of this endless cycle of video games junk food and just a terrible way of living and if you feel hopeless in life, I, I just want you to take one thing from this video. And that is the reality right now, the life you're living is just a symptom of your own mind. The reason why you aren't progressing is because you have terrible mental health. And that's the thing that I really just focus on. So I have an actionable step for you. And I know I've given like five actionable steps, but just do this one, okay? I want you to go on Amazon and buy Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And I want you to read this book cover to cover and watch your life change. Watch your entire mindset change and watch you just like feel so much happier in life. Because this, this book changed my life, it really did. It was the first self-improvement book I read and it's still the best book I've ever read, okay? So just pick this book up and read it. You can climb out of hell, man, because I did the exact same, okay? So goodbye, have a nice day. Make sure you actually do the action one step and grab the book and read it cover to cover. Goodbye, you're gonna elbow your face again. Goodbye.